To some consumer news and the standoff in Washington over the nation's debt, we are less than a week from the country potentially defaulting for the first time ever. NBC's Ryan Nobles is on Capitol Hill with more. Some hope heading into the weekend as negotiators race against the clock to avoid economic catastrophe that a deal may finally be in sight. Both sides showing optimism. It's hard, but uh, we're working and we're going to uh, continue to work till we get this done. The only way to move forward is with a bipartisan agreement. But the deal would still have to pass Congress and leaders are walking a tightrope. We're in a sensitive phase um, with sensitive issues that remain. Those sensitive issues are the thorniest issues that we've been discussing. The White House and Republicans in the House of Representatives are haggling over budget cuts and caps on future spending. They're working to find a sweet spot that will appease cost-conscious conservatives and progressives worried about the impact on social programs. It's clear to me that President Biden is continuing to hold the line. The ultimate deal, though, may require compromise from both factions. I think the speaker well knows he's going he's gonna to lose his Freedom Caucus, and I think Hakeem Jeffries and the president well know that they're going to lose a number of progressives on the deal. And so, you know, they're just trying to figure out where that, where that middle ground is. Compromise that could make it more difficult to get through both the House and the Senate. Every additional Democrat vote you think you want to get means you're getting a worse deal overall. But despite all the noise, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has pressed upon his caucus to remain calm and that a deal will come together. Look, it's not easy. This is a, a big issue and it's not something you can solve easily. We want to make sure it's worthy of the American people.